I remember being on the set of Reservoir Dogs once and doing a scene where uh, we were beating up uh, the cop to get information out of him. And I remember pacing the, the set kind of, um, you know, letting, letting myself feel these things. And uh, that day, my wife visited the set, and I remember, you know, seeing her at the corner, out of the corner of my eye, and feeling really embarrassed that she's seeing this side of me, because it really felt like it was me. And I remember I had to ask her to leave the room because it was, it was just, it was, it was, it was too hard to do that in front of her. <laughs> All art is transformational, and the art of acting is the art of transformation. You take reality and you synthesize it and it becomes something else. I heard your messages of panic. <laughs> I said, oh, well, this will be good, you know, because, uh, <laughs> well, well, because I do say that chaos, doubt, and confusion are the beginning of the creative process. And, and, and of course, also because I do think that uh, the one thing that happens in cold readings is that you actually find out what kind of actor you really are. This role is, is like hard well, to just talk to the rabbit, you know. Talk like, to the, okay, I'll just talk to the rabbit then. I'm sure the rabbit will probably have some answers for you. <laughs> so this is of mice and men. Lenny, for God's sake, don't drink so much, Lenny. You hear me? You're gonna be sick like it was last night. That's good. You drink some, too, George. You drink some, too. I ain't sure it's good water. Looks kind of scummy to me. Look at them wrinkles in the water, George. Look what I done. It tastes all right. <laughs> Don't seem to be running much, though, Lenny. You oughtn't to drink water when it ain't running. <sighs> You'd drink water out of a gutter if you was thirsty. Isn't it nice to just be stupid once in a while? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. It's kind of nice to play someone who thinks about something else, or maybe doesn't think about anything. Hard to do. A lot of it's in the eyes. It's kind of like the emotional age in the eyes. You know, like if you, if you looked at a child's eyes. or animals. Some animals have that, although some animals have a lot of thought and intelligence in their eyes, too. Anyway, when you don't want to know what to do, Rob, just look like a babbling idiot in your eyes. You know how to do that? No. No? You don't? <laughs> there you go, yeah. <laughs> I learned more about life as an actor than I did by living life when I was young. Characters taught me things. I think that's part of the process. You know, you, as you try to merge yourself with another human being, whether it's actually transforming yourself or whether you simply go beyond yourself, how, you, can, you can image that in more than one way. Um, but you become you reach the part of yourself that is, that is cosmic, that is universal, and you become larger than yourself, and you are therefore capable of doing things that you would not normally do. I bet he didn't want to stop at the ranch gate. I bet he's too damn lazy to pull up. Wonder he ain't too lazy to stop at Soldat at all, just a little stretch down the road. Dennis? Yeah? Can you get rid of the wall? I don't know. You can be mad, but you can't have the wall. You, you know what I mean? I have an idea. That, that, that means you're not sure? No, I, I'll try. I forgot. I tried not to forget, George. Honest, I did. 
Okay. Okay, I'll tell you again. I ain't got nothing to do. Might as well just spend all my time telling you things. <laughs> you forget him and I tell you again. <sighs> That's good. Good. Because one goes in and out of a lot of levels of reality when you're working. You know, sometimes actors try to force themselves to be in some idea of a level of reality when they're working. And you go in and out of as many as you're capable of. That can happen at any time in the process, and especially in the beginning. Acting is an art form which is fundamentally revealing what human behavior is. And this transformational process is a totally normal thing. You know, and if you think about what the natural state of human behavior is, it is transformational. And if one isn't going through that, you know there's something wrong with your life.